This is where strength begins, not with cement, not with blocks, but with the earth itself. We've just started digging the foundation for our retaining wall, and every shovel of soil counts. Because right here, beneath the surface, we decide whether this wall will last a lifetime or crumble in a few years. As we dig, we'll show you what every builder must know, how to test, measure, and prepare the ground before a single block is laid. This is the science of strong foundations, explained in real time, from the Lady Sea construction site. Follow us to see how we build the strongest retaining wall, step by step, from the first dig to the final block. Before a single shovel hits the ground, there's one step that separates builders from dreamers, marking your foundation lines. This is where precision begins. Every stake, every string line, every level mark, they don't just guide where to dig, they define the strength and alignment of everything that follows. Because a wall is only as true as the line it follows. Get this step wrong, and your foundation will fight you, uneven trenches, weak support, and walls that lean before they ever rise. But get it right, and you set the tone for greatness. Straight lines, solid footing, unshakable confidence. Before you dig, measure twice, mark true, and build like your legacy depends on it. For those building their own retaining wall, the exact marking tools, line level, and measuring tape we use here are available on Amazon through my membership link in the video description. These are durable, reliable, and perfect for both small DIY projects and professional sites. Remember, accuracy now saves you from costly corrections later. Now that we've started digging, it's time to study the ground beneath us. Every scoop tells a story, the color, texture, and moisture reveal the truth about your foundation. If the soil feels sticky and heavy, it's clay. Clay expands when wet and shrinks when dry, meaning your foundation must be deeper and well-drained to survive its movement. If it's loose and grainy, it's sandy soil, it drains fast but shifts easily. That means one thing, compact it firmly before you build, or the ground will move beneath your wall. You don't need fancy tools to understand your soil. Just observe, feel, and learn how it behaves, because the soil you dig today decides how strong your wall will stand tomorrow. Know your ground, respect it, build wisely. As we keep digging, one thing matters more than speed, depth and consistency. Every centimeter you dig shapes the strength of your wall. A good rule of thumb, your trench should be about one-third the height of your wall. So, if your wall stands 1.5 meters high, dig roughly half a meter deep, solid, stable, and ready to hold weight. But don't just trust the numbers, trust your level. Check every few steps. Uneven trenches lead to uneven foundations, and uneven foundations lead to failure. Use your tape measure, line level, and straight edge to guide you, from start to finish, precision is everything. Because the time you spend getting this right, will save you from rebuilding later. As you dig, clear away every soft or unstable patch, especially around corners. Cracks or crumbling edges mean one thing, the trench isn't ready yet. Scrape it back until every side feels solid and firm. Think of your trench walls as the frame of your foundation. Every strong building starts here, deep beneath the surface. But here's the truth, if those trench sides collapse or even shift a little, everything above begins to lose its balance. The base weakens, the alignment changes, and what once seemed solid, starts to crack. Keep your trench clean, stable, and supported. Because every strong wall begins with sides that stand firm before the first stone is laid. As you dig, always notice where the water flows. If rainwater or groundwater collects in your trench, that's a sign you'll need a strong drainage system later. Every retaining wall needs a way to let water escape, because trap moisture adds dangerous pressure over time. Mark the lowest point of your site now. That's where your perforated drain pipe will go when we reach the installation stage. While digging, safety comes first. Always wear boots, gloves, and a helmet. Keep your site organized and tools out of the trench. If you're using machinery, make sure the operator knows the exact trench depth and location of any underground pipes or cables. Digging might look simple, but it's the most critical phase of your entire project. A mistake here can affect every layer above it. We've just started, but this is where real construction begins. As the soil opens up, we're preparing the ground for strength, stability, and durability. In the next phase, we'll show you how to compact the base, install drainage, and prepare for concrete. For now, every measurement, every test, and every scoop of soil matters. Because we're not just digging trenches, we're digging the roots of a strong future. Follow Lady C to see how we continue building the strongest retaining wall, step by step. And don't forget, subscribe to stay updated, like this video if you found it helpful, share it with someone planning their own build, and comment below with your thoughts or questions about the digging process. Your engagement helps us teach and build better, together.